you might also want to open the Visual Studio code using the terminal. So when I open the terminal, when I click on this uh, spotlight and then search for the terminal and open the terminal, and when I give this code command and then press enter, it says ZSH command not found for the code application. So our terminal right now doesn't recognize the code command. So how we can fix this? So let me uh, quit from this terminal. And then what you need to do is just open your Visual Studio code and then press command shift P. So press command shift P and then type here shell commands. Okay, so just type shell command here and you will see two commands. One is uninstall code command from path and other is install code command in path. So first of all, we are going to click on the second option which says uninstall code command in path. So I'm going to just uh, press on this option and then click on OK. Once that's done, once again, press command shift P and then once again, write shell command here. So shell command and this time press on this option which says install code command in path. Okay, so first uninstall and then click on install code command in path. So I'm going to click on this uh, option and it says code will now prompt with OSA script for administrator privileges to install the shell command. So I'm going to click on OK here. And then you need to provide your MacBook's password, which you use to log into your MacBook. So let me provide that and then press on OK. And once that's done, you can see shell command code successfully installed in path. So once that's done, you can open the terminal once again. So quit the terminal and when you reopen the terminal again, so let me reopen the terminal. And then now you will be able to use the code command. So when I write code here and then press enter, it's going to open the Visual Studio code. So now this is the way to set the path of Visual Studio code in your ZSH path so that it recognizes the code command. So now let's say, let me close this Visual Studio code editor from here. And then if I open the terminal and let's say I will CD into my documents folder. So let me CD into the documents folder. And here I have a few directories and I want to open the my project directory using Visual Studio code. I can just CD into my projects directory and then I can write code space dot which is going to open the my projects directory in the code application. So I'm going to press enter and then you can see it opens my project into Visual Studio code. And here you can see it says do you trust the author of the files in the folder? I will click yes here and I can also click on this checkbox and if I check this checkbox from the next time, it's going to trust the document folder. So I'm going to press yes here. And now you can see this project is open. 